Today we are going through some of my most recent Majuri items and also some of the current must-have items. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Lisa. I have done so many Majuri hauls in my lifetime. I also have so many Majuri collection videos for you guys to watch and just recommendations in general. Make sure you check out some of my past videos. If you aren't new, you will notice that today I have a new friend this little microphone here. I'm obsessed with it, but I wanted to offer better microphone quality, if you will. I hope you guys enjoy this new video experience. This video is in partnership with Majuri, and if you guys are interested in getting 10% off, make sure you guys use any of the links down below. Your discount will be automatically applied. I'm a huge Majuri fan. I have so many items from there, as you guys can see from my website, lisaway.com slash Majuri. Today, I'm going to tell you some of the recent items that I got and why I got it and why you should too. And then we're gonna go through some of the other things we've accumulated in the last few months of things that I think you should get too. This video is by no means a video where you are going to save money. Like, honestly, I'm just gonna be straight up with you. You're not. Summer trends are coming up and I think jewelry trends are also moving towards a certain direction as well. We want timeless pieces, but I am also going to be offering some upcoming trends as well and also in the next video i've placed another haul so you can stay tuned for that but in the meantime i really want to show you guys some of the timeless pieces that you should add to your collection so without any further ado let's get right into the video okay so i do want to start off with probably one of my favorite favorite items from this haul it is these earrings right here okay so the reason why these earrings are so good is because first of all in the summer, okay, since summer is coming up and I think this is important, you definitely need a lot of solid gold, especially if you're like a low maintenance jewelry person like I am. I prefer jewelry that is solid gold just because that way I don't need to think about taking it on or off. I can be in the pool, I can be in the ocean, I can literally be doing anything. And what makes these earrings even better is that they are so comfortable because it is quite dainty, but yet statementy because of the diamond studs. This is honestly so comfortable when I sleep and maybe it's the Asian in me, but honestly, I'm just like, I love a three in one product, okay? Because you're already paying so much money for something, you might as well get more use out of it. This earring not only has the one look where you can kind of loop it around the earring, as you guys can see, I have looped this around the earring and it creates this little hoop effect. You can obviously wear it dangled if you wish. And the other way, you can loop it to another earring. So look at this. If you loop it to the other earring, it now creates this little chain. And I just think that it is so cute. What is even better about this is if you like the asymmetrical look, these earrings actually offer just for you to buy one instead of a pair. So that is definitely something you can look into as as well, but this is definitely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things that I recently got that I definitely think you guys should check out. Okay, moving on to the next thing that I got that I think you guys would also really love. I got this diamond initial, and as we know, if you guys don't know, the diamond initial pendant from a jury is one of the most popular items, but this one is actually a oversized letter. So the one that I have here, I actually just got it in the L, which is surprising because if you guys, once again, if you guys are not new, you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of the letter L in the traditional, just like a letterhead. I prefer if it was like cursive or whatever, but I actually think this is really, really cool. I don't know if it's because my style has also evolved over time and I'm becoming more edgy. I really do like the look of this one. I also have another colorful pendant on it as well, as you guys can see. This one just gives it a little bit of a pop of color and I've been really, really liking this. I feel like if you guys look on their website, they have a lot of beautiful gemstone pendants that you guys can check out. So I just personally really, really, really like the look of that. And Majuri has accumulated a lot of lab grown pieces that I highly recommend that you check out because honestly, if you guys are not down to pay for the price point of a natural diamond, then I highly, highly encourage you check out some lab grown diamonds. So some lab grown pieces include this one right here. 
like I said, you cannot tell the difference between lab grown and natural. If you had just given this to me, I honestly would not be able to tell. I absolutely love it. It's super cute and it's still ultimately a diamond piece. Their other pieces include this one right here. I'm not wearing this one right now because I was just playing sports and I could not put this on my wrist to save my life. I'm waiting for my parents to come home. So I've already had this one on. This one actually isn't offered in the lab grown option. Option, but this is one design for a tennis bracelet that I also really love that I got recently. It is in their Pyra collection. I just love the Pyra collection. I think I have a mention to you guys before because I had gotten this ring from a while back and absolutely love it. It really mimics the Charlotte one that I have, but I honestly think it is quite similar. I would just pick one or the other if you are debating between two. It is ultimately at the end of the day, just up to your own personal style preference. Another piece that I actually forgot to mention that was part of my haul is this heart piece right here. This is a solid gold ring. The reason I didn't mention it is because I didn't have it on me. And the reason I didn't have it on me is because I actually meant to get it as a pinky ring. So this one right here, I did get it in size four, but this one is fitting a little bit big. So I actually am just holding onto it so I can go and size down on this one. You should probably look into getting pinky rings if you don't have it, because it's a really, really, really great way to elevate your jewelry without, you know, potentially buying a new piece. If you happen to have a, a smaller piece that doesn't, you know, fit your other fingers, just even wearing it on your pinky is going to be super trendy. I find that pinky rings really make your whole look a little bit more stylish. I personally have been liking the more edgy pieces and the bigger pieces for pinkies. I also like that it is solid gold so you don't have to take it off, but I absolutely love that piece. I can't wait to wear it when the size is right, but that is another piece that I really think you guys should get. Another piece that I don't think I've mentioned in another updated must have video is this necklace right here. I'm not wearing it today, but this one right here, honestly, I feel like this reminds me of like a really, really, really high end jewelry brand. I have it in both the pearl version and also in the diamond version. Both are amazing. My mom absolutely loves the pearl one. She's borrowing it right now. She wears it every day because it is solid gold. So definitely look into that. A few other pieces that I think are not actually too bad on the wallet, but really elevate pieces are little dainty gemstones like this one right here. So the way that I wear this one is I just like to layer it with some of my other pieces. For example, I have these two rings here. It has both of my initials and how I like to wear it is kind of, I like to wear my last name initial as the first one, then followed by this gemstone one and then followed by my first initial and together it just looks so cute. It looks like this. I think that if you are in a relationship and you got initials like that, one for your boyfriend's initial or your girlfriend's initial and one for your own, I just think that that would be so cute and to kind of make it pop, is to layer it with a ring with a gemstone or just a little bit of color. I think that makes the entire stack look so gorgeous. So this is my current stack today. Some of the other pieces that I have on my wish list, because usually for these type of videos, I will share what is on my wish list. The biggest item on my wish list is honestly the tennis necklace. I feel like it is so cute and just looks so good with every single outfit. Obviously super elevated, but I think I would love to have that as like a super classy treat yourself piece. The other one that I would love to get is also their eternity band, but in like the thinner version, I think that one would be so, so cute. I would love to layer with that. I feel like I've seen a lot of other creators layer their diamond pieces like that. So I think that that would be super cute as well. The other items that I have on my wish list are also some pieces from their Ghani collection. If you guys don't know, Majuri did a collaboration with Ghani. It is super, super cute. Make sure you guys check it out. It is in sterling silver and a little bit in gold. Maybe I'll do it for the next video and show you guys some of the elevated silver pieces that you guys can also wear. But I think that is also on my wish list. I think it is such a amazing collaboration and the pieces look super edgy. For the summer, I also think that a lot of basically like chain necklaces and these like 
very unique, just quirky pieces are gonna make a comeback. I think this also has to do with the fact that I think people are trending into wearing more fun pieces, not just like all, all, all about, you know, like dainty or whatever. Like you're seeing a lot more charm necklaces and even on celebs as well. So I definitely see that coming back that we should all check out. So Agani, that necklace is going to be a really good piece. Even this one right here that we've had from even last summer and adding some charms to it, I think is going to be super popular this summer. If there are any other pieces that you guys think I should try from Majuri, please let me know. Leave a comment down below and I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you guys have any questions, as usual, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want any pieces, they are all linked below and you have 10% off if it's your first time shopping at Majuri. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.